application of equations in real life with examples. Today, we will see examples related to application of equations in real life. Example 1. You have a hundred rupees to shop at the market. Suppose you bought pulses for X rupees and the price of vegetables was 15 rupees more than half the price of pulses. After shopping, you're left with 10 rupees. Can you tell the cost of pulses? Given that the cost of pulses is X rupees, the cost of vegetables is 15 more than half the cost of pulses, which is X by 2 plus 15. And we are left with 10 rupees. We know that the total amount is equal to cost of pulses plus cost of vegetables plus the remaining amount. Therefore, our equation will be 100 is equal to x plus x by 2 plus 15 plus 10. 15 plus 10 is equal to 25. Now how do we add x and x by 2? We can show it like this. Take the LCM of 1 and 2 to get 2. Dividing and multiplying x by 1 by 2, we will get 2x by 2. Now we can easily add 2x by 2 and x by 2. Taking x as common, we will get 3x by 2. So, our equation will be 100 is equal to 3x by 2 plus 25. In order to find the value of pulses, we have to solve this equation so that the value of x will be known. In this equation, we only need the term of x in RHS. So, we will take 25 from the RHS to the LHS and plus 25 will become minus 25. Our new LHS will be 100 minus 25. Our new RHS will be 3x by 2, which means our equation will be 75 is equal to 3x by 2. Now instead of 3x by 2 in the RHS, we need only x. Since 2 is dividing 3x in the RHS, it would multiply in the LHS. Our new LHS will be 75 into 2. Our new RHS will be 3x. Therefore, our equation will be 150 is equal to 3x. In order to find the value of x, we now divide the LHS by 3, since 3 is multiplying x in the RHS. Our new LHS will be 150 by 3 and our new RHS will be x. Therefore, our equation will be 150 by 3 is equal to x. That is, 50 is equal to x. Sometimes, there is a misconception that numbers are only in the RHS and variables are only in the LHS. But that is not true. Instead, even after exchanging both sides, they remain equal. Just like both 50 is equal to x and x is equal to 50 are the same. By placing the value of variable x is equal to 50 in the RHS of the equation, you can verify that this solution is correct. So, the expected answer would be 50, that is, the cost of pulses is 50 rupees. Let's understand another example. In your school, suppose the number of boys in class 7 is 6 more than double the number of girls. If the total number of boys in the class are 30, then what will be the total number of girls? Can you tell me what the equation will be? 
let's solve this question. If we suppose the number of girls in the class to be A, then the number of boys is equal to 2A plus 6. In our question, it is given that the total number of boys are 30. Then, our equation will be something like this. 2A plus 6 is equal to 30. Let's solve it and find the total number of girls. As we have learnt, to solve the equation here, we have to keep only the terms of A on the left side. So, we have to transpose 6 from the LHS to the RHS. By doing so, our new LHS will be 2A and our new RHS will be 30 minus 6. Where we get 2A is equal to 24. To find the value of A, we will divide 24 by 2 in the RHS. Our new LHS will be A. Our new RHS will be 24 by 2. That is, A is equal to 12. Therefore, the total number of girls in the class will be 12. Today, we have seen examples related to application of equations in real life. In the next video, we will understand some misconceptions related to them. Thank you.